Hello everyone, welcome to Tekken 2. This is Michael Smith. Today I'd like to go over a few of the tools in our InLab Cam 18 software. Uh, one of the very first ones you'll see is a center support tool. Whenever you have a uh, decently large arch, uh, the software will actually pre-propose it. Uh, if you want to remove that, what you'll need to do, you'll need to click on your support tool, click on your restoration, and you can remove that. Um, if, and just screw normally. Uh, if you wanted one, simply click on the center support tool and come back and just click on it and add it. Next is a move restoration. You can move this pretty much globally, however you want to uh, move it horizontal, vertical, uh, rotate it in whichever uh, fashion you want. Works very well, especially when you're looking at multi-layer materials. And then your edit axis tool. So the edit axis tool, um, I use this quite a bit. Uh, what you'll do is you'll come in here and you can actually see it will identify areas that it will not be able to properly manufacture. So these areas you'll either have to uh, manuf you know, manufacture, hand carve, whatever you want to call it um, after the fact. Or uh, you can adjust your axis as well by just controlling these arrows. Now I don't do much of it on the internal aspect of my restorations. Uh, every once in a while I will, but for the most part, um, I'll adjust it on the incisal part of my restorations. Now, you do have a little magic button, what I like to call magic button anyway, minimize undercuts. If you click on minimize undercuts, it will try to optimize its milling. Um, it works pretty well, uh, I must say, but it will still identify these areas that are just you know not possible for the machine and its availability to mill. So that's kind of an overview of your tools and your tool selection. Just uh, use those as you see fit and stay tuned for many more videos. Thanks for joining us today.